What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is your boy Falcon. Today we are going to be talking about a lot of stuff actually. Um, most importantly, we're going to be talking about the new dev discussion, talking about crowd control, but we're going to give some updates since I haven't actually made an Ashes of Creation video in so long on this channel. The last two videos on this channel, if you guys don't know, have been vlogs with me and my boys. We went to Seattle and Oregon and it was just fun, you know, some vibes to, you know, take a break before we jump into Alpha 2 for Ashes of Creation. So now we're getting back to business talking about some good stuff which is gonna be crowd control as you guys can see also we kind of leveled up the room the last time you guys probably saw the room um it was very barren in here you know i had to get the blackout curtains some new stuff you know the cabinet or not cabinet but like the bookshelf with the cool stuff on it um as well as some other stuff happened which is today when i'm filming this video is actually creation actually updated their site this is gonna be like an all-encompassing video by the way well, we're gonna get into the dev discussion and my opinions on crowd control and based off the questions that you know intrepid posed to us as a community to ask because they want to know how we feel about crowd control but i just wanted to you know make this an all-encompassing video as well because i shouldn't have to pad content anymore right because we're about to get an alpha 2 and i mean i'm filming this on the 16th in nine days so i shouldn't have to pad my content the next video i should be putting out should be me either waiting in a long ass queue or in the game of vera um in my opinion I, I you you may not see another video from me until um depending on the fascist does release on the 25th um you won't be seeing another one until we're actually in the game but let's look at this site real quick because i'm i'm exploring it as well with you guys um i i looked at it very like briefly um and i wanted to like come on come and like show you guys it real quick so let's let's pan over to the other panel real quick let's see boom Look at this site. Hold up. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, not this. Not that. That's too far back. All right, come on, Falco. Um, Azure Creation. There we go. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's showing a little trailer that they, what's it called, showed us a long time ago, which was supposed to be on, like, the game client, I guess, for, like, the Alpha 1 testers. I was an Alpha 1 tester, but it's basically that same little trailer. But this is not how the site looked before. <laughs> this site looking crispy. It's looking... It's looking sucky. I'm not gonna lie. They cooked. The, whoever developed this website and like the user interface of this, they kind of cooked. Um, I know they're kind of get trying to get us hype for Alpha 2. It says Alpha 2 begins soon. Join us October 25th for the start of our first Alpha 2 testing phase. Be an active part of our development by providing feedback, voting on features, and helping shape the world of Vera. That's, that's uh, they cooked. And then they show Discover Vera, which shows like all of the archetypes, except for the two that were missing that are grayed out, which I'm assuming this is like the summoner over here. And this is like the rogue, which is kind of tough. Um, but they have like the the art. I don't think we've ever really seen the art for the mage um, and everyone else other than the bard. Like we saw the bard, which was shown like on, you know, Twitter and stuff like that. But these are new graphics, actually, that they probably have been, you know, showing. maybe maybe I just missed it. Let me know um as well as you can click here to join if you guys can see can you see it sorry because i'm my, my my obs is on the other side but if you hit join the alpha it takes you to buy your keys it's very you know straightforward takes you to their social medias if you guys want to go check them out check out their social medias by the way if you haven't already bought a key or if you haven't made an account for ashes of creation make sure you guys use my ashes of creation creator code down below in the description if you guys want to show your boys some love because you already know we gonna be playing Ashes of Creation Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on stream on Twitch. Um, your boys at down below is twitch.tv slash Falco is gaming. So go show your boys some love. Um, we will be streaming probably 18 hours a day. I probably I'll probably be taping a freaking tube to my fucking weenus, you know, to pee. I'm not gonna lie. As long as they let me play, I'm gonna be playing. I'm just that. That's the MMO guy I am. I'm that. That's just me. Um, but let's keep it going. Let's keep it going um let's go to archetypes let's see what they did for their archetypes because this overview as you guys can see up here it's kind of kind of sick okay it's a little it's a little slow but maybe a lot of people are looking at the site now maybe a lot of people oh i was right yeah rogue summoner obviously it's not going to show anything but what's this show for ranger let's see oh they got a little okay can i, can I do that okay hold up hold up hold up that look a little roguey is it just me that's kind of tough. I can't wait, bro. That's kind of tough. Hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. 
that's I think that's the first time we've ever seen the Ranger actually use a melee weapon. And then we actually I I I initially didn't even know that that freaking backflip that the rogue or that the archer does actually does damage i thought it was strictly like to get out of town but it does damage if they're close and it snares them which is actually pretty dope this area looking cute as fuck Ooh, that was cute that was cute i like it i like it then let's go to mage that's sick let's see what let's see what they love what they rocking with Chill, okay. Oh, we've already saw these. Oh, this one's not very, very like new or anything. Um, let's go to fighter. Okay, and I notice how they put the orc. Okay, they show the orc too. But okay, cool. In the car finger, eh? I'm not. I, I I'm biased. I don't really I'm like. I don't really have the have the vibes for it. Um, I really love the animations for the bard. They're very well, well met. Very well met. Okay. Okay. That's cute. That's cute. I like it. I like that it's looking a lot more like it feels like our, our dreams are coming true with this game. This game is a reality, especially with how nice the site looks. The site looked very like Kickstarter -y before, in my opinion. Which it is obviously the Kickstarter game, but it's been in development for so long. But now this actually is looking a lot more polished, a lot more, a lot more. If I tell someone to go to the Astro Creation site, they probably aren't thinking they're gonna get freaking ripped off. No, they're gonna be like, "Oh shit, this is a dope game. When, can I play it now?" Like it looks like this game is out, <laughs> you know. Um, so I'll I'll give Intrep at that, you know. Cla claps. <laughs> My hands off to you guys for that because this site actually looks function very functional and very. Like, dope. Even though, like, half of these characters we can't use yet. But let's see what they got for the Tolnar. Okay. New art. Ooh, we haven't seen this before. I think we saw the male version, which is this one, guys. We've definitely seen that. But we haven't seen a female Tolnar. Look at that. Okay. She looking like a cat. Like, like a female lizard. Yeah, yeah. Not bad, actually. Not bad. I, I like it. It looks like they've definitely put some time into that. Let's see, is there anything else we haven't really seen? Uh, I they got any cool pirate stuff. I like it. Okay, it's not the same. Um, but there's a lot of artwork that they're that I don't think they've really shown us. Oh, we've seen this gear before. I don't think we've seen this gear in game yet, but it looks dope. I'm a fan. I'm actually I'm a fan. This must have taken a long time to kind of like situate and get, put everything together yeah this is this is crispy this is cri I, I like this this whole aesthetic the whole aesthetic for the nakua is like beautiful this gives me very much like tropics vibes but yeah it, uh this is gonna be a game bro this is gonna be a game i'm not gonna lie every time i see some new stuff about this it always makes me happy you know okay Gorbin gives me gives me very like Gorbin like mil militant vibes. I fucks with it. Okay, Valoon. This is probably who I'm gonna play. Valoon. I like I like the the sand aesthetic. You know, I like the Arabian aesthetic. I like this. Yeah, Egyptian. You know, Egyptian type of vibe. I like it. Um. Yeah. Good, good job, Intrepid. I know this is already a pretty long video for me talking about that, but we're about to get into the dev discussion. I just wanted to show the site because the site is a lot cleaner, as you guys can see. It's, all, it's very much cleaner. But but getting back into you know our our discussion today, which is the, the crux of everything. Um, I told you guys, by the way, I was going to put out more Ashes content for all you guys. You're probably like, yo, Falco, where's the Ashes content? I'm here. Don't worry. But it's like, the game's not out yet, so... Let me live my life until until I'm not saying I'm not gonna live my life when Ashes comes out or goes in Alpha 2, but let me live until the game comes out. But let's get into this. There's three questions that the devs posed to us about crowd control, and I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read them one by one, and then we're gonna discuss them, and I'm gonna give my feedback on how I feel about crowd control, um, and about how I feel about those questions. Um, but basically, they say crowd control CC are abilities that inter interrupt or disable an, an an enemy. Sorry, let me just over here more sorry it's on my other screen um yeah interrupt a, or disables an enemy's movement cc breaks 
are abilities that cancel or stop CC abilities basically from happening. Um, so you can trigger a CC break skill and sometimes it'll make you like enable to be crowd controlled for like a very like small my minute amount of time so if you do it properly you may be able to you know inhibit it from happening which i i, I vibe with um but the first question is how do you feel about cc and cc breaks in mmorpgs i think they're necessary because it it's it very much cc's very much like stagnate the whole process of like combat like it very much feels very grounded too grounded at times if there is no CC breaks to, you know, cancel out like CCs. I'm all for CCs because it gives a window of opportunity for you to make a like concise and constructive attack versus your opponent. Uh, especially if I'm talking with someone like a friend of mine and I'm, I have a bunch of CCs and I'm throwing them out and I'm trying to like play like kind of like chess with my opponent to basically crowd control them and, and kind of see what skills they've used Maybe they've used their, their CC breaks already, and I'm trying to CC them. Um, maybe I'm like, all right, he used a CC break. He has like 15 seconds before his CC break comes offline or comes back online. I'm going to CC him. All right, um, Yami, which is another friend of mine. You guys probably already know. Yo, hit him. Hit him with your strongest move. I just CC'd him. He can't He can't break it. You know, it, gives, it makes you kind of have to count your moves and strat strategize. Like, oh, I know what a CC break looks like. He used it. Time for me to go in. Um... And then it also gives other characters um, a chance to shine. I feel like, at least in my opinion, um, actually, actually, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that yet because I think the other question is gonna ask on that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that to that question. But that's how I feel um, about CCs and CC breaks. I think they're great. I think if there's not enough CC breaks to counteract the CCs to where it's like a chess match, then it can stagnate combat. But as long as it's well presented like the ccs and the cc breaks and there's enough to kind of make it feel like a chess match and not just oh cc him to hell and he's dead pop him done then i think it's fine i think they're fine and in moderation um that's my biggest thing um but going on from part two um the question two is how do you feel about all archetypes in astral creation having some form of a cc break i think that's fine that's fantastic um i think at least every class should have at least one cc break it's like that get out of jail free card because like i would say for instance in my opinion i think that bards should have a lot of cc breaks they regard they should have probably the most cc breaks regardless of if they spec strictly into cc breaks or crowd controls you know because they're a like a fully support class and that's i feel like that's a very integral part of like a support class um and, not, and people are probably gonna say well falco what about the healer i feel like the healer um is more so for healing and reviving it already has its thing you know like for me i feel like every class has like two two main things they do for healers they heal and they revive and they keep like the party alive and then like um, what's called bards they buff um and debuff the allies and i feel like debuffing or buffing kind of, kind of goes hand in hand with cc breaking so i feel like that gives the bard a very integral part like a part where it needs to be um that's that's my opinion though like i said i these are all opinions and everyone can agree to disagree or agree or not i, and I don't care if you agree this is a, like i said these videos are strictly for me to give feedback to entrap it and for you guys to also give your opinions down below so comment down below how you feel about that as well but yeah i feel like going back to that um i think everyone deserves at least one get out of jail free card because let's say hypothetically the bar does have most of the ways to kind of take ccs off of crowd controls off of your like your teammates um the bar is not going to be able to be everywhere at once so sometimes I'm, i may need to use my cc break to kind of con continue the combat um dance as you would say combat the dance of combat between whoever i'm fighting they, i might need to kind of get my get out of jail free card to get out of there and then be like hey bard I'm, i use my cc break um i'm gonna need some help over here because if he sees me he sees me again i might die and it, it gives the bard a reason to kind of be in different parts of the game in different parts of the world and different parts of the fight at different times it gives a reasons for people to communicate with each other and that's my biggest part about mmos nowadays no one really communicates what they need and when they need it and how they need it you know like if I'm a healer, uh, the only time, the only thing people communicate is, oh, I need hills, I need hills. No one really communicates what else they need. No one ever communicates if they need um, buffs 
if they need CC breaks, they never communicate that. Not and a lot of people are like, why, why give them everyone a CC break at all? I feel like not giving people an, a, at least one CC break or every class one at least one CC break um, would stagnate combat way too much. I think it would it would just be unplayable. You wouldn't even you would feel so hindered that you wouldn't even want to get engaged in combat unless you had a bard. And a lot of people are like, isn't that the point of having a bard? Yes, that is the point of having a bard. But I feel like the combat would be a little little too stagnant. Obviously, I haven't tried it. That's why we're in Alpha 2 and we're testing it. But I just feel like one CC break isn't going to hurt, you know, especially considering the fact that the bard's going to have the majority of them. Um, you feel me? Um, I'm willing to try it with both, but I lean more towards everyone having at least one. Um, and then having your your support characters bards clerics have more um but going on to the third question which is what are your thoughts about choosing cc or cc breaks versus damage when allocating skill points i personally don't think there should even be a point or a reason or a, a even t a time that you can have that on like a like a dps character and when i'm saying dps i'm talking about like mages rangers um rogues um those ones i don't think those should even have a chance to to spec into like cc breaks i think the, that that should only be like delegated to like tanks tanks um clerics bards and i don't know about summoner yet i'm kind of on i don't know because i don't know i don't know how they play i don't know their play style yet um, but I can kind of infer what the play style for a rogue is because rogues are usually heavily damage based. But I think for for those like those three three of them like for a tank, I can see how you can spec heavily into CC breaks because you don't want to get like crowd control to hell, and you and you want to be able to at least move and get back or get away or get close to your healer so they can heal you. Because another way to you know deal with tanks is probably to CC break them to hell and break their armor and damage mitigate them or break their damage mitigation and just. Wop, wop them down you feel me um and the same thing with bards i feel like bards it's a support so you want your support to be able to kind of deal with any scenario especially a bar you want them to be like a jack of all trades they can buff you they can debuff the out the enemy they can take your debuffs off you etc and then healer healer i feel like if you want to spec into less healing and you want to spec into more like it's called cc breaks i feel like that works i feel like that works i don't think you should be able to be a cc breaker and a healer a really good healer though because i feel like then you kind of take a diminishing what i feel like a bard what's a, a major role of the bard is which is taking like debuffs off of you off your character that's just my opinion that's how i my fantasy of how those classes are playing like i said everyone else's might be a little different let me know if you agree let me know if you don't let me know how you feel down below about that but i just feel like a healer or a cleric should be more so on the reviving keeping your party alive healing and you know big just big hills you know that's that's why you're there to keep everyone alive revive people strategically um and you know live out that fantasy there and if you if you want to do a little damage you can but like you're not obviously competing with a mage <laughs> you know you're not competing with mages um but yeah that that's my fantasy with that um let me know what you guys think let me know if, if you if you agree if you don't um, let me know what you think about the new setup in the room as well, um, because the new setup in the room, I'm, I'm fucking with it. We got the Black Clover poster. We got the, what's that? Um, what's called Death Note poster right there. If you guys can't see right there, we got a solo leveling one. We got Kingdom Hearts one. We got some Funkos. We got Black Bulls from Black Clover, Kingdom Hearts. We got we got a lot of vibes here. It's, it's looking a lot more creative in here and a lot more fun and inviting. So I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I know this was a long video, but I haven't talked about ashes in a long time <laughs> on this channel. Like I feel like it's been like half a half a month. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm still here, and we're still we're still gonna play a lot of ashes, a lot, too much. I'm gonna be playing when you guys are asleep, um, as long as I'm available, as long as I'm able to. Um, but yeah, we're going to be um, playing ashes October 25th, streaming on Twitch. At, Fal at what's called twitch.tv slash falco is gaming the link is down below go subscribe to your boy show your boy some love we're going to be playing a ton of ashes a ton 
<laughs> and making a ton of videos so show your boys some love thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment down below and subscribe hit the notification bell follow me on social media instagram twitter all that shit and also don't forget to use the ashes of creation creator code down below um it is down below in the description it shows your boy a lot of love if you guys go make an account on ashesofcreation.com and use my code it, it really helps your boy out but other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace don't wanna say goodbye